Hi guys, всем привет! Welcome to my channel, Alice Yummy Food. I'm in this beautiful Christmas set and feeling so Christmassy. And today I'll show you one of my favorite recipes. It's raspberry zephyr. Zephyr is Eastern European and traditional everywhere in Latvia, Russia. It's like a marshmallow type of thing. Absolutely love it. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Let's get started. Into a pan, add your frozen raspberries. You can also use fresh ones. Then add sugar and we're going to cook this on low heat for about 10 minutes until it's all melted. Add your raspberry puree into a blender and we're going to blitz this until it's nice and smooth for a few minutes. I'm going to sift through the mixture so we don't get any seeds. We keep going until all the mixture is finished. And there you have it, raspberry puree. You can find my recipe on my website at alizyamifood.com. Next, we're going to add water into a pan with agar agar and sugar. Mix everything together until it's melted. We're going to cook this for about five to seven minutes on high heat. When the mixture starts to boil, you want to constantly keep mixing so it doesn't get stuck to the bottom. And this will take about five minutes. In the meantime, you want to add your raspberry puree into your stand mixer along with your egg white and whisk for a good 5 minutes until the mixture starts to become nice and fluffy. You have to do both of these things together. You will start to notice the mixture is becoming nice and gloopy so keep mixing and when it falls off the spoon then it's ready. Slowly add your gelatin into your raspberry mixture and whisk on high speed for another 5 to 10 minutes until you see the mixture is becoming nice and fluffy. You can test it with your finger and if it sticks then it's ready. Place your zephyr mixture into a piping bag, make sure it's nice and full. and pipe out beautiful round shapes next to each other. We're going to leave our zephyr overnight to dry out completely. Slowly peel off your zephyr from parchment paper and stick both sides together. And we're going to dip that into icing sugar so it's not sticky. Once they're all done, if you leave them out for another day or two, they will become nice and crispy on top and really soft in the middle. enjoyed this video thanks so much for staying with me make sure you subscribe to my channel I really really want to reach 100,000 subscribers by next year um, so yeah click that subscribe button make sure you like this video and share it with your friends and we'll see you soon